Goodbye. Well, folks, I am back out here after the chucks again. Picked up Kaylee. We both got done with work about the same time and uh, came up here to the farm. As you can see, the farm's right there. And right here is the woodchuck I just shot. I shot it with a 45 grain Winchester hollow point using my 223. And it's a fat woodchuck. This hole, it's a good one to kill. You can see his hole right here, right along the fence line. And uh, any of the cows some get out and walk up the edge of this fence line, they'll step in that hole and snap their legs. So that's a big problem, problem chuck there. Good one to, good one to take out. We'll go see if we can't find some more. Okay, whenever you're ready. Here's the woodchuck I just shot. You've seen it, it came out right up, right along the edge of this road and uh, Kaylee and I got set up on it. About 120 yard shot with a Savage 223. Pounded him. So we're gonna go see what else we can find. Okay everybody, so uh, my old lady and I came out to look for some chucks. <laughs> to come out and look for some woodchucks this evening. And uh, we came down here below the farm in, our, in the new seating that's down here. And sure enough, we seen a woodchuck out right at the hole, right in the middle of this field. So this would be a great woodchuck to uh, to take out. This hole is really hard on equipment and everything. So I ran right up there with a couple GoPros and put a, two of my GoPros over each of his holes. And we're just gonna set up here and wait him out. Hopefully he comes back out here in a little bit. She's gonna be running the camera. I'm gonna be on the gun and we're gonna try to kill this big old woodchuck. Is it gonna work? Safe. Do you wanna shoot it? You got it, babe. If anybody, if everybody wants to see Kaylee shoot a woodchuck, if I get 100 likes, she's gonna shoot a woodchuck. So make sure you go down and hit this like button, bottom of the video, and she's gonna blast one. Let's see what happens here. Kaylee and I just spotted the woodchuck. He just came out of the top hole, but he just poked his head out for a second and went right back in its hole. So uh, we're gonna really keep an eye on that top hole and I'm gonna get my gun ready. And as soon as that sucker sticks his head out over the grass again, I'm gonna let him have it. Pretty much all I could see was the tip of his nose to his eyeball. So that's the only shot I'm gonna get if he comes back out the way he just did. So I'm gonna have Kaylee actually just get the camera on that hole and start recording. And as soon as I see him again, I'm gonna let the 223 bark. Okay, as everybody just seen, the chuck did indeed come back out, and all I had was the very tip of his head. And uh, I shot, and I think I let him have it. I heard a good thud, so I think the round hit him in the head. We're gonna head up there and see uh, if there's a dead chuck laying in that hole. Hopefully there is, and the GoPro is right over that hole, so I think I got some pretty awesome footage of it. Let's go check it out. This time I'm not shooting a 300 wind mag, I'm shooting a Savage. 223 and I was shooting a 45 grain Winchester hollow point and it's, all I could see was the very tip of this woodchuck's head right here so uh, I got a good rest down there and just smoked this woodchuck right in the dome I mean Tongue's hanging out. right in the face and I think I got awesome GoPro footage of that too so uh, hope everybody enjoys this and I want to mention kind of the reason why 
I go around and shoot these woodchucks all the time on our farm here. These woodchucks dig these holes right in the middle of our fields and it's really, really tough on our equipment and uh, our mowers especially. Our knives are cutting this grass and they hit these rocks and stuff from where these woodchucks dug these holes up and uh, dulls our, dulls our knives and causes all kinds of issues with equipment, not to mention the cattle on our farm. If the cows get out or even a horse comes out here and steps in this hole and breaks its legs, that's uh, almost certain death for that animal. And uh, they're nothing but a nuisance. Let's go check out this turkey. It's hunkered down right in the middle of the field that I just shot that woodchuck at. Oh. Hi, little turkeys. Yeah, there's only three of them. Oh, baby turks. It is Saturday morning, and uh, I'm up here at the farm. Just went for a little walk. I'm gonna see if I can't find any woodchucks. I got the uh, Savage 223, I'm shooting 45 grain uh, hollow points Winchesters. So we'll see if we can't find any woodchucks out here. Okay, everybody, I just spotted a woodchuck and he's sitting right on a fence post. So I'm gonna hurry up and get this camera set up. He's at about 100 yards and uh, see if I can't kill him. I think he's sitting right on a fence post, looks like. We'll see if I can't take him out. Let's go see if I uh, got him. I'm Pretty sure I pounded him. He went flying off the post like I got him. We'll see if he's laying over here. There's the fence post that was sitting on right there, and there's the woodchuck. Shot him right off the top of the fence post. Pretty good size one. That's right where he was when he got shot by the old Savage 223. There it is. Shot it from my truck right there. Only about 100 yards or so with a Savage 223. Shooting a 45 grain hollow point made by Winchester. Right there's the any. Dead center of the chest. And the Audi. Actually kind of ricocheted and went out the side of them over here. That sucker is actually blind in one eye. If you actually look at his eyeball there, you can see his eyeballs all uh, his eyeballs all cloudy. It's got a cloudy layer over it. So I think in this eye he was probably blind or couldn't see very well. This eye looks fine. Nice and dark colored.